we are and what we used to be part of the Everglades agricultural area. This area was joined for agricultural uh, purposes until South Florida Water Management District started building what was originally known as the Everglades Nutrients Removal Project. Today, the Storm wa Water Treatment Area. These cells of wetlands or marshes were constructed to remove extra nutrients, in particular phosphorus from storm water. This area was first we flooded with storm water in August 1994. Phosphorus and other nutrients are taken up by cocktails and other plants and the decomposition of plant material deposited in hydric soil. For example, before the construction of these marshes, water in the Everglades had a phosphorus content concentration of 170 parts per billion. Today, according to South Florida Water Management District, it is at 12 parts per billion. That is why wetlands and hydric soils are called the kidneys of the landscape. A quick soil taxonomy note of this soil, according to UF's Rice, Gilbert, and Darub, these soils were formed over a 4,400 year period by the decomposition of hydrophytic vegetation and occupies almost 93 percent of the area as we can see on the previous uh, slide the yellow pen is where the soil samples were taken this is the marshes the dominant vegetation is cacti. I was next to the wood looking for some dry soil, but it was not easy due to the rainy season we had in South Florida, plus tropical Isaac that dropped close to eight inches of rain in some areas. I dug two cuts of soil. One was about eight inches and the other one 19 inches. I was able to identify the presence of uh, organic bodies, muck, and a strong hydrogen sulfide odor that the video could not record. <laughs> we had about four inches deep of organic bodies or A6 indicators, as you can see. It's a fine <coughs> looking, there was no greedy material to um, show for. And here's the uh, organic body part. In the middle of the soil coat, it looked like material that were deposited when this the woods were being built to the marshes. The same material was, fo was found about 15 inches deep. And then I hit the lime walk where we could not shovel or auger through. The, the color we no noted on the uh, Monster book was 10 YR22. And the limestone material was about 10 YR51. Another note, the mock was not deep enough for and A2 indicators 
and last the high nutrient content of the storm water and the persistence of anaerobic condition in these marshes created the hydrogen sulfide smell that this camera camera cannot show Another note, the soil was very moist and that is why we, I had to dig another uh, cut, here it is, where the uh, organic bodies are more uh, obvious because the soil was uh, drier. And I would like to thank the South Florida Water Management